The leave plan of room experts has tracked down that utilizing our new 101 billion toy, it will be clearly, consistently before that give changes into a reality. A shot at the remote probability that it goes as organized, the outing to Proxima B will anticipate almost 20 years. So, reasonably, it will be a few years sooner before we can intrigue if there is sure life on that planet. The spread out deals of whether we are genuinely alone in this universe get past the James Webb Space Telescope, which has found some astoundingly human things far away from Earth that lead us nearer to the reaction. Our focal objective, always past us, has been uncontrolled throughout each human activity to such a degree that we have innumerable media works and hypotheses concerning this matter. Our marvel concerning our spot, what's more, horror in the universe has been consistent. It is immersed inside us to dependably look for a mate, paying little heed to how fragmentary we may be. We may get increasingly closer to the reactions we truly need. In any case, are they genuinely the reactions we are searching for, or are they simply truly disturbing? Oblige us as we separate the latest discoveries in the space of systems and planets on the trip to find something we probably will not be able to see. Lights far away. Instructed specialists have found what could be the most significant exposure in history. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was intended to ship off, an extraordinarily interesting speculative solicitation was raised about the limits of our development. The request was whether later on, our telescopes could recognize artificial light on another planet, for instance Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth. Proxima b, around 4.25 light years away, was recognized to be perfectly locked with an exceptionally sturdy day side and night side, like our moon. A theoretical creative improvement for Proxima b could move power and energy from the day side to the night side utilizing photovoltaic cells that make power from starlight. Consequently, in a paper with Manus Ving as one of the science subject matter experts, it was shown that a colossal gathering of the day side by solar chargers could be related to future telescopes. Since JWST was also evolved, it would grant us to expand our mission for artificial lights on exoplanets like Proxima b. Now, the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope did precisely that in 2024, utilizing its higher care and greater level of abilities, is weighty. The JWST could have found the lights we were looking for and perhaps flung us into another tremendous flood of human development. By and large, we ought to plunge into the universe of planets and exoplanets to sort out how this was no ifs, ends, or buts even conceivable. James Webb's mission investigates Proxima B and Proxima B mysteries. Starting from the start of recorded history, people have considered the opportunity of the universe. What we are, where we come from, what's more, where we go. These are traditional, yet incredibly awkward sales that humanity has endeavored to answer. At the point when we got care in the hour of astonishing mechanical progression, one thinks about whether we are any nearer to seeing these deals. If you somehow manage to ask a researcher, he could say we are presently at level zero of figuring out ourselves in the universe. Regardless, ask a space master something similar and watch him take full advantage of his energy as he races to tell you the latest exposure people have made about the universe. Using their clever contraptions, these instruments, yet not really thought about by the overall population, are straightforwardly an impression of human activity itself. We currently have the world readily available, and it's time we push forward and get the universe within our reach. One such strategy for doing so was determined by researchers and space specialists through the innovation we tackle. A particular making of that innovation is now trustworthy for the new disclosure of what may be light on another planet light years away. Indeed, we're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation considered out of the practices of human endeavors into space to address some ever-present questions. Are we just us? Who's out there? Where do we start and where do we end? This infrared space science contraption has recently started paying special attention to these deals, not getting through the truth that at first, you could get yourself asking what Proxima B is. Proxima Centauri B, or just Proxima B, is sometimes referred to as Alpha Centauri B. It is a super-Earth exoplanet and orbits an M-type star. Super-Earths could bewilder you, but don't stress. This text will settle all your burning questions. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more significant than Earth but lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are genuinely one of a kind. They can be made of gas, rock, or even a mix of both, 
and their sizes can fluctuate from twice the size of Earth to a few times its mass. As for Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, implying that it orbits outside the nearby planetary system. The essential possible confirmation of an exoplanet was found as soon as 1917, but it garnered basically no interest. However, confirmation came in 1992 with the first affirmed discovery, which left experts astounded. Another exoplanet, first perceived in 1988, was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 affirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems. Of these, 896 systems have more than one planet. These visible discoveries are surrounding an M-type star. To understand the M-type star, you need to figure out the red dwarf. Red dwarfs are the littlest type of star in the main sequence, thus the name. In the interconnecting district of the Sun, red dwarfs are by a long shot the most well-known kind of star found in the Milky Way. They have staggeringly low brightness, and since brightness is one of our primary tools for planet acknowledgement, red dwarfs are not so easy to see. These subtle stars have variable definitions and names, depending on their temperatures and sizes. For example, smaller people or M-type main sequence stars yield a maximum temperature of around 3000 K, thus getting their name as well. As for Proxima b, its mass is known to be like 1.07 Earths. Interestingly, it only takes 11.2 days to complete one orbit around its star, compared to our 365.25 days. You can actually check the size of the star Proxima b is surrounding. It is astonishingly under the evaluation of the whole electromagnetic reach the star has. It has an overall radiance of as little as around 1.6% that of the sun. Other than in the visible light range, its brilliance seems to diminish more. It only shines 5-6% to of the sun's brilliance, emitting a much lesser amount of light energy compared to the sun. More than 85% of its radiated energy is infrared radiation, rotating around about 0.045 to 0.056 galactic units from its star. Proxima b's discovery was reported back in 2016. You could ask why Proxima b, with one million stars, planets, and universes, is of such fixation. Well, there are several reasons that add to the conspicuous interest cosmologists have here. Specifically, Proxima b is the nearest known star to our Sun, and by definition, though 4.2 light years is a large number to us Earthlings, in the grand scheme of the universe, it is a clear blip. Consequently, Proxima b, our nearest known star, is high up on the priority list. Right now, it is part of the triple star system called Alpha Centauri. Also, notwithstanding Proxima's brilliance being incredibly low, the system itself appears as potentially one of the most brilliant heavenly bodies in the night sky, just behind two others called Sirius and Corvus. However, the most overwhelming thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it could genuinely be habitable as it falls within the habitable zone. The potential outcomes surrounding the star are limitless, and consequently, space specialists have accepted the assignment of researching the depths and limits of the star's legitimacy. That is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. The four pivotal objectives of the JWST are to search for light from the initial stars and worlds that formed in the universe after the Big Bang, concentrate on the universe's plan and advancement, figure out star and planet development, and focus on planetary systems and the origins of life. As the JWST continues its appraisal of the said exoplanet, we move closer to the most noteworthy part of these missions, from looking for exoplanets to searching for extraterrestrial life. So what exactly is at stake, one could ask. Considering that people have perpetually been an inquisitive species, investigating and getting into literally all that moves and doesn't move, it seems reasonable that a mission like SCI arrived on such a massive scale. Envision that God has formed an unimaginable, huge undertaking. But with a sprinkle of gold, we are entrusted with being watchful for flags. More explicitly, electromagnetic mumbles from human developments beyond anything we could ever imagine. SEI, short for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, looks like the world's most high-stakes game of find the stowaway, with our planet as the searcher and the enormous universe as the apparently unending hiding spot. It's one of those fields where experts are like advanced Sherlocks, tuned into radio waves and scouring for that subtle, we are not alone sign. This colossal search started in the 1960s. Frank Drake, 
an exceptional astrophysicist, was among the first to recognize radio transmissions from the stars. It was a fundamental moment. However, no outsiders showed up at his door. Now, as you might have guessed, searching for something this massive takes patience and can span quite a large number of years. Long stretches of work sometimes pass without finding anything definitive. A few indisputable outsider signs have been found, but despite these endeavors, the energy continues to grow as the James Webb Space Telescope keeps on assessing exoplanets like Proxima b. An entire field of hope is emerging. Will we accidentally find real proof of extraterrestrial life? Or will we just encounter disturbing signals beyond our ability to understand, giving us more questions than answers? The discovery of lights could mark the next part of humanity's immortal curiosity, where interest and progression blur into one enormous, exciting space story. So, let's continue looking, hoping to find confirmation that we are not really alone. The discovery of lights from faraway exoplanets, like those possibly seen on Proxima b, could be a striking move toward answering one of humankind's most significant questions. Are we alone in the universe? As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to assess the skies, its revelations will undoubtedly spark more discussions, debates, and perhaps even challenges to our fundamental understanding of life, intelligence, and the nature of the universe. The repercussions of these discoveries extend far beyond simple curiosity. They carry the potential to reshape our philosophical and scientific frameworks. For example, if we were to confirm that Proxima b or another exoplanet harbors life, it would force us to rethink our position in the universe. Could life elsewhere evolve in ways similar to our own? Or would it present a completely new form of existence? Would it follow comparable evolutionary pathways? Or would science and awareness challenge all that we know about life on Earth? Even if we fail to find direct proof of intelligent life, the simple fact that we could identify artificial signals or lights from faraway worlds would still have significant ramifications. It would mean that there are intelligent civilizations out there, theoretically capable of altering their environments in ways that become detectable from our vantage point. This would affirm that intelligent life is not a rare anomaly, but perhaps an inevitable consequence of specific circumstances in the universe. Regardless, it's essential to stay grounded and cautious in light of such discoveries. While the potential for finding life is exciting, it also raises the question, what happens next? How will we respond to the confirmation of extraterrestrial life? Will we approach it with respect, curiosity, and scientific rigor? Or will the revelations spark frenzy, fear, or even political battles? History has shown that humanity's responses to new discoveries particularly those that challenge deeply held beliefs, can be unpredictable. We should also consider the ethical aspects of our curiosity. If we do find proof of life, especially intelligent life, what does it mean for our responsibility as stewards of our planet? What moral considerations should guide our interactions with other forms of life, whether microbial or advanced? These are not questions that can be answered easily and they will likely be a central part of the discussion as we venture further into the universe.